Hello my friends, I'm Carrie, and today I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about the basics of using KT tape or kinesiology tape. So you might be asking yourself, what exactly is kinesiology tape? And that's a good question. It is essentially just a specific kind of athletic tape. Um, it's got kind of a cloth bandage feel to it, and the back of it show you has these little grooves and striations built in. There we go. And a rudimentary explanation for how this works is that these striations are interacting with the receptors on your skin to communicate with your brain, to do different things to your skin or muscles or connective tissue or lymph system, um, kind of per our instructions, given how we apply the tape to reach some desired outcome. So this is most commonly used by physical therapists, personal trainers, a lot of athletes use this, massage therapists, but it's also very easy and straightforward to apply at home. It can be a really cost-effective and effective form of self-treatment, which is why I wanted to talk to you a little bit about it today. So I talk a lot about the KT Tape brand specifically because it is my personal favorite. Um, it has been around the longest and it is just what I am most familiar with using. Probably the other most popular brand of kinesiology tape would be Rock Tape, which I also like. I have actually found that Rock Tape will adhere to the skin a bit longer, um, but in my personal experience, I have found Rock Tape to be more likely to react with client's skin, probably because the adhesive is um, a little stronger. There are also a number of off-brand uh, kinesiology tape brands that you could play around with. Just know um, that everyone's skin will react a little bit differently to the different adhesives. And especially if you're someone who is already really sensitive to Adhesive, like if you if you don't do well with band-aids, then this is probably not going to be the therapy for you. The other thing that is worth noting is that different areas of our body can be more sensitive than others. So most commonly the skin on the neck and the stomach is more sensitive than other areas of our body. So before you apply a full uh, therapeutic taping, I would generally recommend that you do an allergy test to whatever area you're going to tape. So in order to do that, you would just take a small piece of the kinesio tape, um, about an inch or so by an inch or so, and apply it again to whatever area you are planning to apply the therapeutic taping and wait at least 24 hours, make sure that you don't get a reaction. And when I say a reaction, we're looking for itching, burning, just general, any discomfort in your skin is going to tell you that that is not the tape or the area for that particular tape um, for you. So as I mentioned, kinesiology tape comes in a variety of different brands. It comes in different colors, different lengths, different styles, and that sometimes you can find it in pre-cut formats. I really like the KT tape, um, pre-cut rolls. So essentially you get a roll that is comes with these easy to tear off uh, pre-measured little strips that have these lovely rounded edges. You can also buy the tape in just a non-pre-cut roll, which can be lovely, especially if you're doing a lot of different types of taping and need to tape things to size. The thing to remember is that you will want to cut the rounded edges into your tape um, those rounded edges actually help the tape to stay smooth and flush with your skin and not peel off as quickly. So those are important. And also you will want to invest in a sturdy, sharp pair of scissors for that. Uh, I have just found that my basic run-of-the-mill kitchen scissors, safety scissors, uh, don't do a great job of getting a nice clean cut on the kinesio tape. So investing in a sharp pair of scissors is gonna be helpful if you're using these um, non-pre-cut rolls. So and when it comes to applying the tape, you wanna apply it to, to clean, dry skin. 
if you have oils or lotions on the skin, it's not going to adhere as well. You do not want to apply it to any skin that is broken, irritated, if you have you know, any kind of rash or eczema or psoriasis or irritation going on on your skin, I would avoid that area, sunburn, um, those kind of things. I would go ahead and skip taping to, to those areas until those issues have been resolved. Another thing that is just handy to keep in mind after you apply the Kinesio tape is that we often apply it and then give it a rub. The tape is somewhat heat activated, so that, that rubbing motion is actually important kind of heats up the tape, it heats up the adhesive, helps it stay so that you can get a couple of days of, of wear out of the tape. And that's typically what I get. It, it depends on where the tape is being applied to and frankly, how, how much are you sweating or showering or are you in and out of water? Um, there are a lot of different factors that will affect how long you can actually wear the tape, but somewhere between about two and five days is what I normally get out of my Kinesio tape wear. After that, I find that the, the adhesive has broken down enough that it's usually coming off, or even if it's not, it's not performing the same job. It's, it's not doing its job as effectively as when it was first applied. So I usually will then go ahead and take it off. I will typically give my skin a few days off to breathe in between KT tape applications. This is not uh, strictly required, especially if your skin is just really not reactive, um, but for me, I've just found that that can be helpful and keep things from getting irritated. So I mentioned the heat activation. So this is also something to keep in mind if you're using heat as a heat therapy, um, as another treatment option, it, it's just something to be aware of. It doesn't mean that you absolutely cannot, but it might just make the tape stick even more firmly and be a little bit more difficult to remove. So if you're using a heating pad on top of your shoulder KT tape, um, or if you are using a hairdryer, being mindful just not to, to really apply a ton of extra heat to that area can go a long way in helping you get it off later. Another thing that can be helpful when you go to remove the tape, if you're having, especially if it is really adhered and you're having any trouble getting it off, is to use some kind of oil. So coconut oil or olive oil or baby oil or whatever you have on hand in your house is going to help that adhesive to break down. And I just kind of slather it on, <laughs> on top of the tape and then go ahead and so I, I slowly pull off. Um, and sometimes it can also be helpful to apply some pressure Try and give you an example here. If I have the tape applied, this is typically, again, on our skin and not uh, on our shirt, but just for the sake of demonstration and getting it off, I will kind of apply pressure to the area that I'm not pulling off and work on one area at a time to go ahead and get that. So there you have it. Those are kind of all of the basics um, need to know information about kinesiology tape. So if you haven't tried it already, I hope that you will watch a few of my videos and give it a try. I really love using it for myself and I hope you will too.